Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to reuse this wooden panel which I've painted on before. You can see the texture underneath, but it's a practice run, so I thought I would reuse. And the base color I'm trying today is Prussian Blue Thalo. You can tell by that box with the stripe through it that it is a semi-transparent color. As you can see here, my base paint will be very thin and it has been mixed with a pouring medium of clear PVA glue, a very thin runny glue, which is 70% of clear PVA glue and 30% of water. There's actually a tiny bit of Floatrol in the medium used for those two white paints in the cups. There's iridescent white and transparent white by Liquitex. That is the Prussian blue mixed with the iridescent white, so it's a bit sparkly. And then we have the blue uh, Prussian blue mixed with titanium white. And then this one is the Prussian blue with the transparent white. I have some titanium white here on standby as well as the metallic colors just in case I decide to use them but mainly I want to just use these blue colors so starting here with laying down the base And once the bubbles have been popped by the torch, it's time to lay down those colors. I'm going to start blowing out from this corner before I add more paint to the other corner. I want to see if I do need that pure titanium white. But it's looking like the light blue is doing a great job of brightening this up. Apologies, my head's going to be in the way a tiny bit there as I blow out this side. But this is so pretty. I think it would look nice just as is, you know? Especially if you don't use a hairdryer for Dutch pores. You can do this just with the mouth blowing technique. And indeed, using a straw, of course. And if you change the straw to a thicker uh, straw, <laughs> It works really well, too. I do feel if we stopped around here, it would still be just as pretty as a painting, just like that. I'm having a go here to see what that transparent white might look like, and I didn't really like the result, so I will end up playing around with that a bit later. And yeah, it just wasn't, um, I don't know what I was thinking would happen. <laughs> I think I just wanted to try it out. It's usually used to make colors lighter without being as strong as a regular white, like a titanium white. So yeah, I didn't like it, so I'm adding some more colors. And it's time for our first balloon smash. Let's see how this one turns out. Perfect. It was great to have put down that light blue on top of the transparent white. It worked out well. And here, it looks like there's one petal perhaps missing, you know, from the bottom part or the top part, however you're looking at it. But I kind of like that effect.
I decided to use the water balloon here to make some smaller flowers, but I don't know, perhaps one large flower would have also been cool? Both are fine, both are okay, but what do you think? To add a pollen-like effect to the center of the flowers, um, if you take some paint onto your finger and dab, as you can see what I'm doing there, and repeat the process. It takes some time because sometimes you pull the paint back off and you have to add some more, but um, it's worth it. It looks good in the end. Also, using a straw to blow out some of the petals to reshape them can give it more of an organic and natural effect too. I felt it was a bit too dark in this corner, so I ended up fiddling and adding more paint, forgetting that if I didn't like it and try to wipe it off, potentially I could scrape off the paint below because it's on top of another painting on wood. So this is exactly what happens here. Um, but you live and learn. You got to try stuff. I won't do it again next time. Um, and... Uh, here, this is what happens here. Look, oh no, you can see the green, right? And that's from the painting below. So I guess if it was just a fresh wood panel with um, a couple of layers of gesso, then there would have not been this issue. So this was a practice run. Um, next time I do it, there'll be no problem. But I don't recommend reworking on wood. Um, and it's not the same as canvas. So let's have a look now at the wet finish. It looks so pretty. I am concerned at the bottom there because I added the extra blue and obviously the part which I scraped off and ended up scraping some of the original painting off as well. Mm, but never mind because the rest of it is really pretty. Look at the center of that. Let's go in closer. And the petals are so delicate and beautiful. Isn't it lovely? I love the iridescent white. So nice. Um, the centers are just so pretty. 
And as we go up, you can see the small flowers. I think it was a good decision to use the small water balloons. The overall flow of this painting as it goes up like that is really pretty. I'm now excited to see what it looks like when it's dry. And let's have a look at the painting dried. And let's look at the bit that I made a boo-boo first. But I kind of like this effect. Doesn't it look more um, wood-ish if that makes sense? Uh, yeah. But it's still pretty. These colors are just so nice together. So nice. And let's go up. As always, I'm obsessed with the centers of the flowers. You can actually see the lines from the previous painting there too. Um, oh, I should have just gone and done it on a fresh panel, shouldn't I? But anyway, I didn't know it was going to turn out so pretty. Um, leaves are so pretty up here i must turn this around so you can see this in a moment look at the centers on that i keep saying that but um it's just so nice so i flipped it around because i wanted you to see these smaller flowers and the centers, I know I keep talking about the centers, but you see what I mean if I've taken some paint from the tray beneath and added, you get another kind of interesting inside. Isn't it really cool? See, it looks swirly. Yes, so I just wanted to show you that as well. So you can try it too. It gives it a lot of depth, I think, this um, dark blue underneath. Yeah, wow. And I thought maybe it would look cool like this against some greenery. So I'm just popping it up there momentarily. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And see you in the next one. Bye.